It's been one heck of a year, but before we ring in a new and hopefully better one, I want to reflect on all that's happened in this crazy, unprecedented, and totally bizarre year. It's time for my final, final thoughts of 2020. Now, needless to say, I think we're all looking forward to putting this year where it belongs, in hindsight. And since they say hindsight is always 2020, I guess it's only fitting to reflect on what a year it's been. My life changed a lot this year, and I'm sure yours did too, but it wasn't all bad. In fact, some of it was pretty dang good. So for starters, in January of our newly minted year, I got the honor of shadowing our U.S. Customs and Border Protection along with Air and Marine Operations as it secured the big game in Miami, Super Bowl 54. Who would have thought that Super Bowl may have very well been the last big hurrah of 2020? And considering the fact we likely won't have a normal Super Bowl this year, I'm glad I got to experience last year's preparations with the real MVPs, our men and women of U.S. Customs and Border Protection. But even despite the global pandemic, I still managed to chart some amazing episodes of my show, No Interruption. Yep, I dove in, uncut and uninterrupted, into some great interviews on everything from BLM to voter fraud with some special folks like fighting legend Tito Ortiz, comedian Theo Vaughn, and Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. Not to mention one of my most important episodes, Reopen America, with several business owners in the great state of Texas. But it didn't stop there. I also sat down with veteran and country music singer Ryan Weaver, hero and congressional candidate Alex Gorlados, followed by our now newly elected Madison Cawthorn, plus my friend and country music superstar John Rich, and even former Trump administration press secretary and dancing king Sean Spicer. And to round out my kick-ass year of interviews, I sat down with Fox Sports' own Clay Travis to discuss sports, coronavirus, and activist athletes. And how could I forget my episode with NASCAR driver Josh Balicki in the Wounded Blue Car, featuring over 200 stars representing our fallen men and women of law enforcement. It's been a weird year, but I can't say it's been all bad. In fact, one milestone event in particular has been the bright spot of 2020 for sure. I fled California. In the midst of a pandemic, it wasn't easy, but I am so dang overjoyed to say I am now a proud resident of the great city of Nashville in the great free and red state of Tennessee. Folks, this year has been rough for us all, for some way harder than others, and I gotta admit, I've been blessed to keep my job, my living, and my health through it all. I know many, if not most others, aren't able to say the same. The riots, the looting, the election catastrophe, and of course, the pandemic and COVID tyranny that came along with it tried us all. But if there's one thing I know, it's that we are still blessed to have gone through it all living in the greatest nation on the face of the earth. So here's to 2020. Thanks for showing us what we're made of. You can stop now. And here's to 2021. May it be filled with grace, redemption, and blessings for us all. Those are my final thoughts of 2020 from Nashville. God bless and take care.